those who are led by the Holy Spirit will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Galatians 5, 16, 26. The key to resisting the powerful pool of the flesh is simply to walk by the Holy Spirit. Now it is simple, but it is not easy. So if we are simply to walk in the Holy Spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Here is the problem. Far too many believers are seeking freedom when they should be seeking Jesus. They are seeking faith when they should be seeking Jesus. And they are seeking Jesus. And they are seeking Jesus. Life can be challenging, and we all face temptations and struggles. But fear not, for there is a way to overcome them and live a victorious life in Christ. The key is to let the Holy Spirit lead us. For those who are led by the Holy Spirit will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Galatians 5, 16. 26 teaches us that walking in the Holy Spirit is the solution to resisting the powerful pull of the flesh. But though the concept is simple, we must acknowledge that it's not always easy to implement in our lives. It starts with seeking Jesus above all else. Many believers are searching for freedom, faith, and miracles, but they often overlook the fundamental truth. It is through seeking Jesus that we find everything we truly need. The pursuit of material desires and worldly accomplishments can leave us empty and unfulfilled. But when we shift our focus to Jesus, a transformation occurs. He is the source of all our needs, and in Him we find true freedom, genuine faith, and the miracles we seek. Walking in the Holy Spirit is a life-changing journey. It's about surrendering our own desires and embracing God's perfect will for our lives. As we yield to the Spirit's guidance, our actions, thoughts, and attitudes align with God's purpose. Through the Holy Spirit, we develop love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These fruits of the Spirit enrich not only our own lives, but also those around us. The Holy Spirit empowers us to be vessels of blessings, to serve others, and to bring hope and love to a broken world. It is through walking in the Spirit that we can be the hands and feet of Jesus in our communities. So, how can we practically walk in the Holy Spirit? It begins with daily prayer, reading the Word of God, and seeking His presence through worship. We must also be open to the Spirit's guidance, allowing Him to mold us and lead us along the right path. As we draw near to God, He draws near to us and our relationship with Him deepens. We become more attuned to His voice, more sensitive to His leading, and more equipped to face life's challenges with unwavering faith. Let us remember that the key to resisting the allure of the flesh is found in seeking Jesus above all else. By walking in the Holy Spirit, we will experience a life of freedom, purpose, and fulfillment beyond our wildest dreams. If this message resonated with you, make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our community of believers seeking to grow in the Holy Spirit together. Thank you for watching, and may the peace of God be with you always. Countless individuals have experienced the profound impact of walking in the Holy Spirit. Let's hear from some of them as they share their stories of overcoming struggles, finding purpose, and witnessing miracles unfold. First testimony from Sister Joyce, she narrates. Walking in the Holy Spirit has brought healing to my broken relationships and given me a new perspective on life. I used to be filled with anger and bitterness, but now God's love flows through me and I can forgive and extend grace to others. First testimony from Brother Jordan. He narrates, I was trapped in addiction for years, and no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't break free. But once I surrendered to the Holy Spirit, His strength empowered me to overcome my struggles. And now, 
I am living a life of sobriety and purpose. First testimony from Sister Beatrice. She narrates, As a single mother, I often felt overwhelmed and alone. But through the Holy Spirit's guidance, I learned to trust in God's provision and found peace in the midst of challenges. He led me to a supportive community that has become like family to me. The Holy Spirit not only transforms individual lives, but also unites us as a community of believers. When we gather in His presence, we experience a powerful sense of unity and love that transcends differences and fosters a spirit of togetherness. Our newfound faith and love for Jesus propel us into action. Walking in the Holy Spirit inspires us to make a difference in the lives of others. Whether it's feeding the hungry, comforting the brokenhearted, or standing up for the marginalized, we become agents of God's grace and compassion. The Holy Spirit is also our comforter and counselor in times of difficulty. When we face trials, His presence sustains us and His wisdom guides us through the storms of life. No matter how dark the path may seem, the Spirit's light shines brightly, leading us to victory. Walking in the Holy Spirit is not a solitary journey. It's a joyous adventure shared with our Heavenly Father and fellow believers. Together, we celebrate the victories, support one another in times of need, and grow in faith and love. Before we conclude, I want to take a moment for those who may be watching and have not yet experienced the life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. If you desire to walk in the Holy Spirit and find freedom from the bondage of sin, let's pray together. Repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you today acknowledging that I am a sinner in need of your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ is your Son and He died on the cross for my sins. And on the third day, He rose again. I confess my faith in Jesus and ask Him to be the Lord of my life. I surrender my will to your will and I invite the Holy Spirit to guide and empower me from this day forward. Thank you, Lord, for your love and grace. Wash away my sins and make me a new creation in Christ. I want to walk with you, follow your ways and experience the abundant life you have for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. As we come to the end of this inspiring video, remember that the Holy Spirit is not a distant force, but a living, loving presence within us. Embrace His guidance. Seek Jesus above all else and witness the transformation in your life that you never thought possible. If this message touched your heart, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family. Together, let's spread the hope and encouragement found in walking with the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining us on this journey of inspiration and faith. Until next time, may you walk in the Holy Spirit and experience the abundant life that God has prepared for you. God bless you.